<laughs> Ding. Hey everybody, my name's Joe. <laughs> I'm also Joe. Welcome back to This Has His Life. Uh, we're laughing because we we just found out people have made clips of some of our videos and god damn it, they're funny. <laughs> uh, things that we laughed about when we had them occur and then, yeah. Come back to them, it's hilarious. That box art, no kidding. So tonight we're playing Tough Enough, although it really looks like the title is Hey Punk, Are You Tough Enough? But everyone just calls it Tough Enough. But yeah, that box art is i want to say it's almost like cell shaded like comic like book art comic book. yeah very comic book arty um not bad except i think the saliva sticking between his teeth looks it makes it look more like he's a werewolf with fangs and he's got some like elfy ears which is a little weird uh yeah i don't know it's a Jelco. It is part of the Brawlers pack that got re-released by Retrobit. I have that in the other room. I don't think I've ever played it. I mean, I know I've never played this. So, but uh, it's got like Brawl Brothers and a couple others on. And they're all kind of connected. So I don't know if this is really connected to those games or not. Let's take a look at the back of the box here. Woo! Four great champions arrive at the Coliseum. <laughs> fighting King. It's a fighting game. Look out. But, the uh, four screenshots don't look terrible. I think a lot like World Heroes, it doesn't look as good as Street Fighter. But, I mean, World Heroes was pretty entertaining, actually. So, we can hope that it's at least entertaining, right? We hope. We can hope. One can always hope. But, yeah, so you got your time limits. And, clearly there's some sonic booms and hadoukens. And, this dude looks like he just shot a missile. So, it might have a lot more similarities to World Heroes than, than I think. But... Who knows? It's hard to say. I don't have a game manual. What are you going to do? <laughs> Which one is first? Yeah, uh, first? yeah, I've got first, I think. Yep, I've got first. All right. So we're going to turn this crap on. Find out how she goes. What? Oh, how are you tonight, monkey? Working as always? Working hard or hardly working? I'm going to go hardly working if you're watching us. The year is 2151. The war to end our wars has been like super buff. No, they are super buff. Not too bad, and yep, hardly working. Actually, kind of running there. I'm on board with hardly working. That dude's got a lot of mustache. He's also got like a dick on his head. <laughs> <laughs> Have you noticed the longer we do this, the less PC I've gotten? <laughs> Louis pointed he's like, you cuss a lot. And I'm like, no, I don't. Do I? I used to try not to. I think I gave up. <laughs> the fighting king. Do I curse a lot, monkey? I probably do. I can't say because it's subjective to what I'm used to. <laughs> That's true. You know, I curse a lot at home. It's habits. Bad habits. The four champions. So, yeah, we got like the token girl, the common dude, some bald headed guy, and then the Hulk Hogan roided out dude. Oh, the dude in the blue shirt's probably also pretty roid looking, judging by his massive abs and pecs. I like the music so far. You curse a fair bit, I suppose, but no more than me or anyone else I know. Unless mean, unless than me and Adam on podcasts and streams. Yeah, that's fair. Game level, hard, normal, easy. Well, I'm going to turn that right there. Off. That's it. Jump, punch, kick, and kick. And I assume holding back is probably block. <laughs> that or the shoulder button. Oh, we got story mode. There's two. There's the computer. Well, let's beat the crap out of each other for a while. And then we'll try the single player out. Oh, Zazie. I wish you got knives. They're like Naruto knives. 
Yeah, and that's Hulk Hogan, basically. Well, not Hulk Hogan, but he's a big wrestler, dude. Mm. I don't know. And that's basically the same damn sprite. Yeah. Just color swap, and they took the hair off. It is. It's literally the same dude. So that's Ken and Ryu. She's probably... Yeah, I don't know. She's got a knife. She's probably not showing me. Guile, maybe? fight beans look zangiefish that's fair it does look kind of zangiefish all right jump back yeah okay knife quick knife strong knife right, well, she doesn't have a chun Li kick Okay, maybe I don't. Oh. Okay, maybe I don't. Okay. Oh. That's kind of cool. She has like a double leg sweetie. Oh, there's the knife throw. How'd you do that? Uh, so for me, I held back for a few seconds, then forward punch. You don't have a weapon that's visible. My assumption is. Yeah, say so my assumption is you have the high duke in. just be close enough to the person and push the punch or something. Gotcha. <laughs> Apparently Beans is the dude in the back. I don't know. That'd be my guy. It's probably one of like the bosses in the single player game or something. It doesn't even look like it connects. <laughs> it doesn't, like, if she supposedly kicked you in the head, that's a hard miss. I like the replay, though. It's kind of neat. It's not necessary to, like, make the game good or anything, but it's a nice, nice choice. Back to character, character selection. Screen. Yeah, I don't know. All right, you want to try the other? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll do this dude because he's probably a duplicate of your guy. You do Hulky Doke over there. Only four players in a fighting game is kind of disappointing, though. Yeah. 
when I first looked at this, I was like, please tell me, because it was on the, the Brawlers pack in the other room. I was like, please tell me it's a, uh, uh, I was hoping for it. Whoop. I don't know why I did that. You back out. Go learn your moves. I can't. I'm not good at learning my moves. I do the... How the hell did I do the uppercut thing? Oh, it's just your power punch. No, the I did it with like a flame. Oh. Well, my guess is it's the same as the uppercut from Street Fighter. What the hell is that? Oh, that was cool. Okay, so I know how to do that. That's about it. Okay. I figured out one of my moves. Whoop. <laughs> thought it was a beat em up. I thought it was a beat em up too. I had hoped for a beat em up. Frankly, a little co op fun instead of one on one fighting. And I know this dude's got other moves. I've seen him do it. Maybe we should have played bases. Well, I didn't know what it was. It's was... alright. Just go at each other. So yeah, if you just get next to the person and use your power punch, it throws him. Here, throw me. Or just... I try. A massive elbow to the face, I guess. Uh, maybe you don't throw people. Hey, Matt, how's it going? How are you? We're doing well. Joe's playing the roided out wrestler. And... There he goes. Body slam. Oh, here, hold on. Let me walk up to you. Do I? Okay. I was just going to see if the other punch did a different throw. Oh. Oh, the power kick does. At least it did for me. Yeah, not for me. It just kicks you. Oh! You see, I did the... Still no idea how I did it. Doing good. Spend the day rewatching the anime. I can't complain. Are you tough enough? <laughs> what anime were you watching, Matt? Anything worthwhile? You said rewatching, so it must have been good enough for the first watch. Let's come back to a second. Look at you. You did like a a ground double kick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he does a spready. Whoop! Showing off. Bonk. Saint Seiya. Or Sia. You ever heard of that one, Joe? Are you watching it? Huh? Saint Seiya? Sia? No. So yeah, you hit start, it goes back to character. So. Uh, are you looking up moves? Yeah. See the girl, she's pretty good. Okay. What's it about, Matt? Like, the only animes I know is like Ghost in the Shell, Akira, Cowboy Bebop, Samurai Champloo, Appleseed, Bubblegum Crisis. Shit, that might be it. The old good ones. <laughs> the old ones. Uh, let's see. All the stuff from the 90s, as it turns out. This is a good kind of theme. I'm sure you can once you beat the game. Uh, Vortz has four different throws. So all of his moves are different throws. Uh -huh. uh, muscle Buster is back, down, back, down, down, forward, forward, and then... Oh my god! Forward. So you have to punch. Ba Wait, what? Back, down. Back, down, back. So it's back, slide to down. Slide to forward. 
then punch too. Here, watch this one. That's what it was. It was one punch. I stomp on you. Uh, lightning tackle is... What is C? This isn't very popular is in the USA. Old? You're probably looking at like Sega Genesis controller. Uh, no. Uh, is that the one with the Zodiac Knight? Lightning tackle is hold back, then you do forward and kick at the same time. Any kick? Yeah, that's what it says. It's probably kick one. Holding back. That's oh. it. Then climb axes is down to forward and forward punch plus punch at the same time. No, it's just this one. Oh, there. I think that was. He does like an up thrust. Yeah. The knights who fight for Athena against other gods. Ooh, fair enough. Yeah. I was. I was like into anime for a couple of years in the mid 90s when sci fi started doing uh, Saturday anime blocks. And that's where I saw like Bubblegum Crisis and Tank Girl and that one. Apple seed and all that. That's all I get. But I get two different uh, throws. Not, not much new. Oh, um, yeah, I haven't watched anything new in a really long time. <laughs> I tried to get into uh, Attack on Titan because everyone was like, oh, Attack on Titan is great, and I just. The first season sucks. Yeah, so I watched like the first four episodes. I was like, this is not for me, I guess. Oh, I was supposed to catch one too. What qualifies as classic stuff? <laughs> Cowboy Bebop is classic. Mm. Samurai Shampoo is classic. Gintama is classic. What's Gintama? <sighs> I don't really know how to explain it. I don't know how I should explain it. No, I didn't really watch it. I tried watching it and couldn't really get into it. The original Dragon Ball is classic. Mm. Is that the one where Goku's a monkey? He's always a monkey, but yes. Okay. So I, that's the more cartoony looking one, the less anime looking one, mm. right? Okay, that I, I vaguely remember. My buddy's little brother used to watch that all the time. <laughs> the Death Blow! Waka 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 waka! Conk. <laughs> I do like the replay system, it's completely unnecessary, but good. Hey, we're getting a raid from Wizard of Zardoz! Thank you, Wiz! We appreciate it! Did, uh, claim in! Welcome in! Did you finish ring, Wiz? Is the ring... The name of that one movie where the ghost pulls out of the TV? It, it's not just called the ring, it's like Ring of Octray... I don't remember how the hell to pronounce it. This is the game he was playing today. <laughs> Can you do mirror matches? Katono versus Katono? No. Aww, that's disappointing. We did, in classic games fashion. Has a one line ending screen. <laughs> Arquista's Ring, that's what it was. Tower Rooftop. Yeah, good old NES games like, the end! And you're like, well, well that. Was anticlimactic as I'll get out. Yes, only four fighters. That's that was a criticism from us almost immediately too. We're like, really? Dagger face. 
anything. Um, I think... I don't know. It, like, I originally saw it and I was like, oh, it's a beat-em-up. And then I was like, oh, it's not a beat-em-up. It's a fighting game. It's very peculiar, a fighting game, I think, as well. There's four characters. Two of them are basically clones. I don't know if the story mode has more to it or not. Tough enough. Hey, Shankus, how's it going? I don't know that. I mean, we haven't played solo yet. My guess is solo is a hell of a lot harder. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Come here. Davey, thanks for the host there, buddy. We appreciate it. That's what I'm trying to do too. I keep trying to get in on you and throw you. It keeps not working at all. Who here is tough enough? None of us. Oh my god, this game is such a bomb scare. <laughs> oh, here's the replay. Oh look! I don't know if that sweater spit flying off of her face. But half of her head is like, I feel like it's like behind her and now it's in front of her. Kick. That really lets you see how many frames of animation there are. <laughs> you got one frame or sprite animation there, and then there's another one. And then that's your whole time around. You want to do the single player? Sure. We'll try the single player out, see how that goes. Yeah. I'm assuming it's any good view. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to suck, so I'm going to put it on easy, and then I'm probably going to get like three guys in. It's going to be like, play the game on hard, because you're up. Story mode. Yeah. I'll just use the girl. I think she's probably the best one, in my opinion. Oh, I have to fight this guy. Well, there's like seven levels or eight levels, so if there's only four playable characters, then you probably fight all four of them, and then there's probably four of them that aren't normal, which makes me wonder if, if you beat the game on like hard, if it unlocks all the other characters or something, you know? Well, that's a move we never got to go off. That was the move I was trying to do, but I couldn't get to work. Chief, fireball went through my blades. most fighting games. It's just fighting games. I don't know, but I enjoyed watching those fighting games. I certainly enjoyed streaming. You know, this one seems pretty lackluster. There's well, not a lot going on. 
The problem with the 90s is Street Fighter boomed the popularity of the one-on-one -on -one fighting game and every company out there made one. And a lot of them were very, very lackluster. Then you get weird ones like, like World Heroes wasn't exceptional by any stretch. It was just more entertaining because the characters were a little more bombastic and had wild moves. And the game would throw landmines in and everything else. Yeah. You know, this is much more run-of-the-mill, just grind down silliness. Had Rasputin with lay on hands. <laughs> Didn't have Rasputin. Had Jesus. <laughs> I'm sticking with sticking with Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> so. I was gonna say, do you think that if it was Rasputin, it was the smell my hand spell? But I can't remember the actual name of the spell. Smell my hand. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> it's a cleric spell where you basically use my hand smell bad and they take 1d8 necrotic damage. What the f are you talking about? <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. I don't know what the spell is called. <laughs> Inflict wounds. What? Smell my hand? Because that's what you do. No, that's not what you do. That's what you do. Same. Bigby's grasping hand. Look, Monkey plays D and D. He knows Bigby's hand. Well, either Monkey plays D and D, or once upon a time played D and D, or he listens to D and D podcasts, or he fantasizes about playing D and D, which is what most D and D players do. <laughs> we just fantasize about actually. Yeah, playing Inflict D &D. Wounds is a melee spell attack. So you touch the person, and it deals on a hit. It deals three D ten to crack. Exactly. So you go. Does so my you don't hand go smell, smell bad. my hand. You go, does my hand smell bad? And they're like, ugh. And then they take 3D10. But they have to touch your, you have to touch them with your hand. That's not smell my hand. That's, come here and let me palm your face. <laughs> That's kind of close. No, I don't think it is, bro. No! Yeah, it was. You should play. Would love to play again. Yeah, I'm in... Well, I was in two campaigns. One of them's online, so that's still going, but the other one got destroyed by COVID, unfortunately. Joe, you're in two of them, aren't you? I am. Are you in any at college? No. No? I was, and then it quickly <laughs> dissolved, because no one could find time to get together. <laughs> As it so often does. I saw... A meme the other day that was, it was just a picture of a guy with like a smile on his face and said, had a friend tell me he wanted me to show him how to play D&D. &D. I said, sure, <laughs> come on over this Saturday. And then I called last minute to cancel. <laughs> that's, that's basically playing D&D. &D. <laughs> come here, you prick. Hey, son. What the f- Screw you! He is destroying it. He's jumping over me and kicking me. Damn it. Man down. Or woman down. So I can't decide if it's part of her costume or what, but she's got like the two black straps around her legs. Now how the hell did you know? I had block up and this dickhead's kicking right through it. I, I have a funny D&D story that happened recently. Uh, Josh, what? that's his version was of that? the other dude's move that I couldn't get to go off. Anyway, uh, in our campaign, Josh is starting us at like 6th level and he's like, you guys can each choose your own uh, uncommon item. Sure. And everyone, you know, a lot of people are choosing like, oh, just a plus one weapon. And I want, I want a immovable rod. Immovable rod can be busted as hell. And basically, uh, I've built my character as this immovable person where like, I will challenge people to try to push me. Yeah. And I'll activate the, the, rod. the rod and they can't move me. But uh, I'm also an Echo Knight, so I had... My Echo Knight fly the rod up because we had got this dude and uh, we held person so he couldn't move. 
and we couldn't come up with a way to tie him up, so we tied a rope to his neck, and I used my echo to bring the immovable rod like 30 feet up in the air and stop it there. So he couldn't move from where he was. And while the group was arguing, he, you know, the spell ended and he moved and he climbed the rope. And Josh, in like the chaos of everyone choosing what to do, had forgotten that we had tied this rope to this dude's neck. And so he had the guy like, swing around the immovable rod and jump off of it. And I brought up that the rope was attached to his neck and he rolled a percentage and I was like, well, he died. The guy, he is dead. He's no longer running away. I feel like immovable rod is underutilized. It is underutilized. We used it. We had one in one of my campaigns and we would constantly use it as a torture device. Like, you're going to tell us what you know, and they're like, I'll never tell you. And you're like, that's a bad time for you. <laughs> and we just hang them out over cliffs or threaten to put it up their bum and stick them in the air. <laughs> I did think about that. If there's a boss, uh, what would happen if I shoved the immovable rod down its throat and activated it there? Yeah. So here's a new character. Kill a dragon, <laughs> so I beat the three playables. And then here's the next one. This is the dude that had the Johnson for a head. With the weird mustache. And this dude's a, a freak. I mean, yeah, he's whack, dude. Look at him. I don't care for his kicking as well. Cool. It was like a leg kick takedown. Yeah, I don't like his sprite at all. He's wearing skinny jeans. Poor skinny jeans are cool. Hipster. <laughs> I don't like his hair. It just bothers me. Looks like a squirrel tail. Looks like a squirrel tail. I mean, yeah. Yay squirrels, I guess. How much animation they put under his hair. Yeah, we spent a lot of time on him. Which he was pretty front and center on the box, too. So. He wasn't on the box, he was on the intro uh, cinematic. Is that what it was? Yeah. Well, either way, I don't particularly care for his look. I mean, I'm playing on easy, but it's not particularly difficult. I'm also only four characters in, and I guess it's, there's like another four characters, so we'll see. Dolph from Libya. Rocket launcher. Awesome, he's a G.I. Joe. He also has a Bowie knife. Is it Bowie knife or Bowie knife? Because I've heard both. What's the proper pronunciation? What the hell is this dude? What the fuck is this? He's got nuclear missiles. I don't care for the way his cat looks either. He's kind of creepy. He is. Luckily, the rocket launcher thing is, well, I was going to say luckily it's slow, but uh, then it caught me because it was slow. Oh, shit. Way to just walk right into it. <laughs> so is there a way to unlock these other characters? Look that up. I feel like the one-on-one -on -one fighting thing would be a lot more interesting if we had access to all, all the people. It is boo. Is it? It's pronounced Boo, like his last name. Alright, dude, I don't care for you. Shit, I ain't gonna read. 
Why is he wearing his underwear on the outside of this shit? Uh, secret. Play as boss characters in the first CPU mode. Play as boss characters in one player versus two player mode. And there is no way to play as the bosses in the story mode. Well, yeah, I assume not in the story mode. Jump hit the missiles. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> you would think I'd know that, but turns out I'm actually a pretty bad player. <laughs> I am not great at fighting games. I do love some fighting anyway. Like, I love some Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, but I didn't say that I was ever The further into the game you get, the cooler your moves look. So like she was just throwing daggers and now she's throwing like flaming daggers. Oh. Do your kick thing. I'd love to. <laughs> How to? I can only get it to work every so often. Also this dude is just Okay, well I guess I'll just kick you to death, dude. Military dude. Mm. Yeah. I don't care for I don't care for any of the boss sprites thus far. There is one. They all look like molesters. Two, three. Speak four. of Ryu. <laughs> there is the five. literal Ryu. There are five more. Five more, really? Yeah. So there are like ten characters. You could just only play as four of them to start. Unless you put in the cheat code. I mean, it's a cheat code, it's not like a, oh beat the game and for playing as the boss characters in first CPU mode, uh, from your screen where you can choose story versus CPU or one versus two, press left three times, right three times, and left seven times. Then press start. You'll hear an explosion sound, and now you'll be able to pick any character. And you'll be able to uh, oh, well, play Ditto. Play Ditto? Yeah, same character. Oh. To play as boss characters in one player versus two player mode, you enter the above code. On an actual SNES, you hit reset. On an emulator, played or an actual SNES. Reading about this game, it's somehow well received. Yeah, I didn't. I knew the game by name box I ever knew. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anyone play it, but I definitely recognize the box art. Like, that's... This says, enter the above code, so the left three times, right three times, left seven times. Reset the game. Play through one match, and select not to continue. Get back to the selection screen, and press right three times, left three times, right seven times. Good lord. Then press start. Damn it! Oh! He has a dark matter ball. That's the first time he's thrown anything at me. Yeah. I've never seen anyone play it or talk about it. I've just seen the box art before. And like I was saying at the beginning of the stream, before a lot of you guys were showing up, probably, is uh, I have the retro bit released a couple of cartridges for the Super Nintendo, I don't know, years ago, really. They were on sale last Christmas, I think, and I got them. There was the Jelco Brawlers pack that had, like, this and a couple of beat-em-ups in it. And then they had the Joe and Mac collection that had Joe and Mac 1 and 2 and Congo's Caper on it. They're kind of neat. I like the cartridges. I've heard some people say they actually damage your Super Nintendo because they weren't put together well, but again, I've only played them <laughs> marginally. Much as many people who collect video games. I own a lot. Don't get to play a lot of them. <laughs> I mean, I've played them all at least for like five minutes to make sure they work. What the? This is just a reskin of Zangief, isn't it? Or Bolts, or whatever the hell his name is. Oh, 
Yeah, hey, look. He does have flaming kick now. Well, I was trying to do flamey kick, but oh, this one's pretty good. He is like every boss character thus far, except for the last dude, has looked kind of like a rapist. I'm not on board with it. I have a quote from an episode of Scott for a while. Playing games is my number one favorite pass. I'm playing them close 17th. <laughs> that is not inaccurate at all. <laughs> Daggers in the face. Shit. I feel called out. Yeah, no kidding. It's makes me happy I limit my collection on numbers though, like, like I have I allow myself fifty Super Nintendo games physically because those are my favorites. And then I've got twenty five Sega Genesis, uh, because that's what fits on the shelf that I've got for I got twenty uh, N sixty four titles because Really, 20 is about all the good games that came out for that system. Um, the PlayStation 2, I've got, I don't know, maybe 15, but they're almost entirely light gun shooters. I basically used my PS2 just as an arcade light gun machine. NES, I've got like 28, again, because that's what fits on the shelf. Virtual Boy, I have 8, because I'm not willing to pay $300 for the other ones. <laughs> Game Boy, I don't even know. I just got stacks of them. I just don't have time for the N64. I have a lot of games for it. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Oh, this dude looks cool. He looks like Shinobi. We're going to start save state now. <laughs> just so we can actually see the... Well, and I'm playing on easy, so who knows whether we'll actually see the end of a game or it'll just be like, do it again on hard. No, that's not fair. This bro's got a damn katana. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have my little Naruto daggers here, but that's not the same at all. Damn, he's got some reach, too. Some bullshit. Yeah, so I got the slave. What? I'm thinking of the right guy, right? I have no idea. I think Are you thinking of the character from Naruto that has no, the daggers? No, 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 no. It's like, I think most of them have Most the, characters have daggers. The ninja daggers <laughs> in Naruto. <laughs> Kunai is just a, a weapon. Uh, this is unfair with you and your big ass sword and you should quit. Well, that's not what I was for. Yeah, Shredder. Right. There's uh, a <laughs> 64 on the 64. I thought I was thinking of Shredder, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle bad guy. And I looked up Shredder to make sure and it just pulled up. <laughs> Shredder. Uh, I can see you saying Shredder on that, yeah. What? Flamey yo, my good Popman. Little stick in the corner, you bastard. Nope. Get back in the corner. No! Fog. You get beat again. God, no fair! <laughs> it is down, like, punch is just a little swipe at your feet, so if you go to kick him, he'll just swipe your feet, like, no. no. Ah, shit. He does remove me, to be honest. Yeah, I can see the shredder on the head part. The rest of it, not so much. Alright. 
I'm sure he didn't use a sword, right? No, he had but weird, like, we never understood why. Voice. Yeah, he just had this the spiky gauntlet and shoulder pad, which I always thought was fucking dumb. Like, wow. Well, like, the Ninja Turtles have swords and weapons. Like, why does Shredder never use anything other than just crappy third cut rate ninjas, like, robot dudes? Like, even Krang was like, have a weapon every to now and then. To be fair, there. there are different versions of Son Shredder. Of and the first Shredder that comes up when you look at Shredder does not have a helmet similar to this one. You know, and to tell you the truth, Shredder in the comic books may have had a katana. Because Shredder in the cartoon, which is what you're looking up, is not Shredder from the comic it's, books. Is this version of Shredder? I don't even know what the hell that version of Shredder is. I don't know. Like. If you had the claws, it would definitely be a copy. It's a nice movie to be used, that big spear thing. Oh, he did have a big spear! A Naginata! Or, or well, I think that's what it was called. It's basically just a bow stab with a big curvy stabby thing on the end of it. You looking it up? Yeah. Yeah. Original cartoon. You're right, it is called a Naginata. I know it's called the Naginata. That's why I said it. <laughs> you said it, like, doubting. So well, I wasn't sure. sure that that's the weapon he was using. Hmm. It does look like that. Look. It's a blonde-haired, blue-eyed guy from Germany with a weapon on him. What was the guy from the anime you called out the other day? What, Strohheim? Holy oh, That's definitely not him. What the f*** is that?! He just opens with that? Oh, I'm about to get cheesed is what this shit looks like. This is... Jesus. Every hit does a f ton of damage, too. I think too. this is the guy that was on the main box. Wow. Anyway, this guy's actually really cool. I like him. That was bullshit. That's what that was. Look at him. He'll open up. Look how far his leg goes. We're just going to chill here. You, uh, you come to me. How about that? I'll just sweep kick you. Sound good? Nope, you got a longer sweep kick than me. And way longer reach. I don't think this is fair at all. <laughs> Look at that shit. Jesus! That's a little bogus. Glad you're playing on easy. This dude's gonna cheese <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We get you. I tried to it again. Yeah, I did. I interrupted him. Oh, you know what? Oh, my gosh, he's got it. Whoa! Yeah, they look cooler now. What are you trying to do? Well, earlier I was that. I was trying to do that. But I'm pretty sure it's just down, uh, and back and punch. Was I right? Yeah. I think the replay is a cool idea. I, we agree. I like the replay thing. Doesn't much matter if this dude just cheeses you out the entire time, but. That's nonsense on a stick. So much damage. He does. Game's like, congratulations, easy mode stopped being easy. We don't want you to see the end of the game. What the f was that? <laughs> now it's pissing me off. <laughs> I don't mind losing occasionally, but losing to bullshit is super irritating. And that is clearly what is occurring here. Well, uh, you'll be happy to know. <laughs> There's still another boss after this. The only... Cheats I can find are the ones for playing as bosses against CPU and the one for playing as bosses against two player. And I'm dead. There are passwords. If you want to just skip this dude. 
Nah, I'd like to kill him, frankly. Although, we are kind of running up on time here. It is 10 minutes, do you want to start over here? Sure. I'll tell you what, you pull out the password for the next boss. And which boss was that? I don't know. Six. I think. K apostrophe S. Thanks. I don't know. I don't know what it is either. Neither do I. It doesn't say what stage I'm on. It it's got to be damn near the end. I'm pretty sure that was six. So skipping boss seven, is that what we're doing? Yeah. Excuse me. Oh yeah. Four two two. Four two two. Three two six. Three two six. Katano. For Katano. Nope. Okay. Definitely not. Uh... So if that was six, the other dude was seven. Which means I should be at eight. Wrong! Try again! Four, five, two. Uh, three, zero, six. Nope! That was that dude! Then this says the last date is nine. And it's four three three two five five. So I'm pretty sure that was the last guy. Uh, well, that would explain why it was bent well, that and was broken. The second last, to last guy. All right. Well, what's the last guy's password? That was. Oh. Let's just go see the last dude. Four three three, two five five. So that'll bring it back to. I don't know if people will find out those. Guys. So yeah, this is the last dude. Yeah, I think. Well, this is where I was at before, so can't do much about that. No, there is one more guy, and it's the boss. This uh, is the second to last guy. No. <laughs> Jesus, what is that bullshit? I found out how to beat him. A apparently you do nothing but just throw fireballs and occasionally he'll jump at you and your high punch hits him. Nothing like cheesing the game out. Anyway, I'm sorry. You were like, let's review this. Let's review this. What do you think, visually speaking? I think graphically, it's actually pretty decent. Yeah, I think it looks... Uh, I think the sprite work is fine. It actually, I think, looks maybe a little better than World Heroes the other day. Yeah. But it's not as... It's also... There's, like... It's not slow at all. Yeah, no. It's... Like I said, World Heroes was a little more appealing just because of how bombastic it was. Like, it was just so wild. And now he's pissed. <laughs> did you say that after beating him? I did. I'm not stupid. <laughs> well, no, I am stupid. But... I like that I can interrupt that bullshit lightning attack of his. <laughs> but boy, you gotta get it right. Nope. I'm just gonna run under because he's gonna jump. Look at that nonsense. Big says, I think it's hard with any SNES game to make it look bad. Well, unless it's Pit Fighter. I mean, there is Pit Fighter as the example of things you shouldn't do with an SNES game. Because um, Pit Fighter just looked awful. Hey, Freya! 
Came in a little late, we're almost done. Anyway, the point is I think it looks good. The backgrounds look nice, the sprite animation looks good. The characters all look fairly unique, except for like those two sprite swaps. Right. Uh, well, there's the two playable character sprite swaps, and then there's the playable character, and then later like the wrestler, the wrestler with the mask. Yeah. That's definitely a sprite swap. Um, I will say a couple of, of the uh, boss sprites look real molesty, and I don't care for that. There's like the weird army dude with the the clockwork orange cod piece and a rocket launcher who walks like he's got something up his behind. And then there's the other dude who has like a weird swirly hairdo and some platform skinny jeans. I don't care for his look. Um, but otherwise, I, I, I do. I think it looks fine. Totally acceptable. Looks good. Is it Street Fighter level of detail? No, but that's fine. Music. I like the music. The music has been good the entire game. So there's something to be said for that. She's like the female Link. You know what? If I can't play as Princess Zelda in Breath of the Wild 2, I'm just going to be upset. Oh, this is Guile. <laughs> it looked like Guile. Oh, he's actually Raiden. Oh, is he Lightning Boy? Um, uh, the Fighting King. Holy shit. He's wearing Space Marine armor, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's Sonic Boom. That's <laughs> Guile. He's got Energy Wave, Ground Energy Wave, Energy Uppercut, Driving Slice. Well, he's also got cheese in me like the last dude did. Oh, that's nice. Comments El Cheapo. His normal standing. Comments punch, El Cheapo, you don't his say. His normal standing punch two animations unleashes a huge fast fireball along the ground. So he just his normal punch throws a fireball. Well, that explains why he throws it so much and so easy. The energy wave isn't listed when simply tapping P2. Yeah, he does a shit ton of damage every time he connects with me as well. Friend of the super fan. Oh, Link or whatever her name is. is with Hyrule Warriors. I have not played Hyrule Warriors. Oh, this is the boss. Uh, gameplay? Um, you know, I was totally cool with it until I got to those last, <laughs> these last two bosses. And then the difficulty spiked in insane amounts. Um, like, really crazy difficulty spike on the last two. The only thing I have to say for game is it seems to be a bit lag. I mean, there's not a ton. I would have liked, uh... I would have really enjoyed it if the block button had been the L or R instead of back. It really doesn't seem like... Because like, the shoulder buttons aren't used. And I don't know if that's because this game was designed to also be played on Sega, so they were like, well, we don't want it to, you know, have buttons that Sega doesn't necessarily have if you don't have a sick button controller in that game system. Um, but it just seems like it, it shouldn't have been difficult to pull it off. Oh, I got him. We only been on 3DS. There was one on 3DS. Should I just one uh, Hyrule Warriors? I just got a 3DS. I'm gonna have to look that one up. This is what I get for changing tactics. You just stuck with what worked the first time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot the 3DS had an amiibo. I was really close to beating him. Looks like a solid fighter. I don't know that I would call it a solid fighter. Uh, it is a functional and a capable fighter. I mean, if I'm going to pick a fighting game, I'm almost... Universally, still gonna pick Street Fighter Turbo or maybe Mortal Kombat. Look at this. You get out of here with that shit. <laughs> I'm gonna beat him now. Now I'm just pissed. Now I want to see the stupid end of the game. Well, what I want to see is it say try again on normal or hard or something bullshit. 
You know that's coming. Oh, you know, I think tomorrow I plan on playing main commando again. Secret missions. Probably not. That's so fun. Slide him. Yeah! <laughs> You're so close to dying. That was super close. Oh my freaking thumb hurts. It's like a screw fire now. Yeah, they were all. I mean, it was a screw fire now, but there was a lot of that in the night. The killing cheese. Whack. You're dead, Jimmy. It's a good. It's a good. <laughs> Easy level. Final stage clear. Guys, you're beating the meanest, toughest guys around. You're more than tough enough. That was it. That was the uh, end. That is borderline as disappointing as Super Double Dragon's ending, which was just like... <laughs> Here's the thing. I think that's what it shows you no matter what. It just shows easy level, medium level, hard level. If that if that's true, then that's a really lackluster ending to the game. Is this before Street Fighter? No, this is well after Street Fighter. I'm putting my thing in like we're ever going to play this shit again. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Good game. Thanks for the GG's, Dave. Yeah, so that is tough enough. Um, so, visually good, music good, gameplay functional. I'm going to say if you're a fan of fighting games, I'm going to give this a thumbs up. Uh, I think it's okay to play. It's With the cheat codes to unlock all the other characters, playing against your buddy would probably be a good time. I don't know that I would pick this up for the single player campaign. Uh, but it, it wasn't bad. We've definitely played worse games. Like, it was okay. And the music was good the whole time, so I'll give it that. I'll, I'll thumbs up it. I'll give it a thumbs up. It's worth playing if you have it. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad by any means. But I don't think it's worthy of a thumbs up. You don't think it's worthy? Well, it's I don't. Fair. It just seems a bit lagging, especially compared to the last, like, four of these that we've played. It doesn't have Jesus with lay on hands. That's a fact. There was no... Well, there was... No, well, I don't know. The four bosses are... The couple bosses that look kind of rapey might have laid on hands, given the option. <laughs> Uh, all right, Chief, you want to continue some Resident Evil? Sure, I guess. Get that Resident Evil up there. Joey's going to continue his Resident Evil run. And that's going to take a second to, to get set up here. Because we have to switch over to the Switch. say the big controllers right there the pro the pro controller oh you're gonna do the joy cons i don't know that i would be able to use the joy cons on resident evil frankly i prefer the joy cons over the pro controller anyway i mean that's, that's fair it's a choice resident <laughs> evil remake change the title can I make a suggestion for a non-NTSC game? Better than another Formula One racer? You're damn right, monkey. And sure, Dave, let's hear the non-states uh, non game you got. Turn on. Did you turn on the home button? I think that's how you turn it on. Hold it down. There it goes. <laughs> we'll take a recommendation. I think so. I don't really remember. Asterix and Obelix. Yep. I have not played Asterix. I have played Asterix and Obelix. Um, and that is an interesting 
I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. It kind of reminds... Well, the visuals, it sort of reminds me of... Uh, the Lost Vikings, just because Asterisk and Obelisk are Vikings. But it's much cleaner, much more cartoony looking, less pixelated. Classic characters. They are classic characters. Not tonight, obviously. Clearly. Yeah, don't worry, Fergie. You didn't miss a lot. It's it's just another Street Fighter clone, so... <laughs> It wasn't bad by any stretch. Um, we beat it for all that matters. We beat it on easy. And breezed through most of it till I got to the last two guys and then they cheesed the ch out of you. So. <laughs> Wee! I'm the general. Wee! <laughs> okay. Boop. You know what? I don't. Uh... My guess is it is not going to fit in that box when I change the box art here. Boop. Oh. What do I, do I have everything? Not too bad, actually. Well, that's not quite what I was looking for. What do I need? I don't remember. Well, first of all, I don't need this, that's for sure. <laughs> I think you were on your way upstairs to fight a giant snake. Oh, God, you're right. And you told me to bring... You want the uh, grenade launcher and the acid shells, incendiary shells. Yeah, you're going to need those against Mr. Snakey Snake. And I want... Yeah, I guess I'll just keep these. What's wrong with Formula One? Because Formula... The people in the mid-90s had an obsession with Formula One racing. And every single one of the games they tried to make was like a simulation game. Like, we have yet to run into a good one that was like, you know, just arcade-style Formula One-ing. I.E. Very boring. Where am I going? So the Vikings are very obviously based on Asterix and Obelisk. I won't deny you that. Not a Raver fan at all for them, but they're not a racer fan, I assume. Raver, boring graphically, no music. Yeah, the fact that most of them don't have music kills me. I hate that. Um, the last That's one we played game. did have music. I'll give it that. That's my shoot weapon X. I don't know. Hit pause. Look at the controls. <laughs> Race fun. I'm exhausted. The bathroom is real close to being done. Clean shower faucet in there. Oh, still working on the new bathroom. Yeah, I remodeled the bathroom once. Um, here's my theory on home ownership. I will do anything one time just to decide if in the future it is worth uh, paying someone else to do. And a big surprise. It looks like there's something under that couch. A belt. See it? Oh, maybe you can't. Oh, it's Maybe it's just like videotapes? I don't know. Weird. All right. Well, apparently you can't grab it, whatever the hell it is. Yeah, exactly, Mucky. I did it once. I remod I stripped our bathroom in our first house when we went to sell it. I stripped it all the way down to studs and, and subfloor and redid the entire thing. Uh, took out a window, put in a new wall, tile shower and tub, um, new electric wires and ran new electric up to the breaker. And never again. <laughs> I re-roofed a house once. Never again. <laughs> Do you know where I'm going? <clears throat> um, I think you were supposed to go up the stairs, the red door stairs over there. But I don't know if you have a key. Like, I'm pretty sure it's going to take a key and you probably don't have any with you, do you? I have two. I've done several. It's a good time. Yeah, it's a good time. <laughs> I mean, you could try those red rooms. None of those are ones you've been in, I think. Apparently, you can get in that one now. Oh. Yeah, my nose itches. Itchy nose. They're gonna get you. <laughs> I wonder if this trap is the same as it was back in the old days. My guess is not, since the statue's physically moved. Sleeping night. Sleeping night. You can't reach it. Okay, fair enough. Sleeping night. What's the thing in the middle say? I... This is not the same as it was in the original Resident Evil. Spirits will disturb my, my sleep. sleep. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're clearly going to try to kill you. 
Well, what it used to be is there was some grates on the floor, and when you touch the thing in the middle, it would spray poison gas up, so you had to push the knights over the grates to keep the poison gas from killing you, but I really don't know what the hell this trick one is. <laughs> Good old Spencer. That is a mix of hiring people and doing stuff by ourselves. Yeah, well, I mean, you always have to take in the cost relativity there. It might be cheaper to hire someone instead of costing yourself some... Yeah, see, he, he just got done fighting the snake. This is where you're going. Pop that rocket launcher on, buddy. <laughs> uh, you really can't save before you go in the door. <laughs> you can't quick save. Uh, assuming you even have the key to get in. I do. You want to it up? Well, I think that one was already open. Now you have to go up like a short flight of stairs. Yeah. Do you want to turn it up? Oh. What? Well, well. Yeah, that's the bad door. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah, I remember that. When you dis you finish using the key, it's like, do you want to just pitch it now? That was always a great day because you're like, oh, I freed up an inventory slot. <laughs> that that caution before you move past into the next set of views here's like am i gonna get killed am i gonna get killed am i gonna get killed i would set my buddy's bathroom on fire so insurance would pay for the repairs he did not take me up on it took him for a much needed beer and wings after he finished it yes precious inventory space this game is all about precious inventory space yeah, I would have liked to have set my bathroom on fire when I was done with it. There it is! <laughs> Giant snick snick. Look at her. She's like, my god. She's got a snake boy. She does not look nearly concerned enough. Who is shooting me? Who cares? Shoot the damn thing! I don't remember how to shoot! Well, you might want to use a first aid kit because you're you're clearly almost dead. <laughs> Attack, R. I was trying. Uh. Figure it out. There it is. Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's dead. I think your unseen ally killed him. Yeah. Thanks. Nope, not dead. Oh, bites him in half. Yeah! That's new. Oh, swallow the hole. Blast him! Let me learn, let me learn, you might want to use first aid. I would love to. Uh, I don't have it. Oh, you didn't bring any? No! My inventory was full. Oh god, leave me alone. <laughs> oh god, leave me alone. Where'd he go? He left? What is this? There's a death mask. I guess! I want an herb. <laughs> Gotta love the cow, oh, yeah. Good old Resident Evil camera bullshit. What is this? Shotgun. That guy's shotgun. Ah, it must be nice to have a Oh, you don't have room. Wait, is your uh, grenade launcher empty? Uh... I would fire the last shot out of your grenade launcher and reload it. And now you've got space to pick up the gun. <laughs> Combine it with the other... With the weapon. There you go. Now you got space for an assault shotgun. Hell yeah, you'll take it. I like how it asks you things like, will you take the shotgun? No, I'm not going to take the shotgun. And now I leave this you, room. Yeah, and you're done. Only to find out that your buddy who got attacked by a snake earlier is now a zombie. Ah, I'm not times. done with that room. Nope, not done with that room. I do. What does it take to be done with that room? Well, you probably got to kill the snake, bro. What? Where'd the snake go? Into the ceiling, from the looks of it. Yep, there it is. Oh, 
Oh, you got poisoned. Now you got the timer run over to the other side of the mansion where the serum's at. Where is it? Oh, God, I have full inventory. Yep, right there. Well, <clears throat> if you come... So you're down here by the... Oh, that's the first floor. Look at the second floor. So you're up there. So if you run across and go through the door over by the kitchen and go down those stairs, there's a typewriter room right there. Uh, actually, the typewriter room is the one with the serum in it. So you just can run in there, dump inventory. All right, so I run... Straight across... Straight. Up the far door and then down the left, stairs. Across the middle room. Do I run down those middle stairs? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm talking the left left. Where are you talking? You well, talking the okay, middle? Okay, so look, look, look. Follow the arrow. Yeah, yeah. Left through this door. Yeah. Up, up left. left. I was thinking go left again. Yes, yes. And then through the far left door. And up, up and around. And around. And yes, 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 yes. That was what I was saying as well. Go this way. Get ready to deal with another zombie. <laughs> I just would not be surprised if your buddy here is a zombie now. Yeah! Told you. Did you see him standing? Zombroni. Blast him. Come out blasting! Nah, I just shot him with a damn grenade launcher. Fuck that dude. See? Now he's, now he's gonna get you. Oh! He gave it a lunge and missed. <laughs> you lucky bastard. Don't forget to burn the zombies. Yeah, we've been burning them, but... I think he's actually out of lamp oil at the moment. I'm not. Oh. Uh, I... Towards us. <laughs> ah, good old RE camera crap. <laughs> For... <laughs> Don't tell him. Let him get the Zredzos. Towards us again. Yeah, I can turn this one. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> Busted. I would like to make my thingy, my emote bounce bigger. How can I make it bigger? Somebody run me a string of emotes. It's like slap five emotes in the chat and hit enter. Still may be suffering with kidney stones. <laughs> Indeed. Go, 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 go. I feel like when in the original game, like there was legitimately a timer. There we go. Now the emote bouncy is much bigger. Thank you. It was so small when the last one went across. I was like, I want to make it bigger. <laughs> I need to book it to the box. Yeah, well the box is right there. And then the serum is on that shelf. Yeah, just dump anything. It doesn't really matter what. Really? You're being picky? Yeah, you'll take the serum. Use the serum. Okay. So you're not poisoned now. You're just damaged, so... <laughs> Strings of cats. Okay. Do I have a normal herb? Yeah, green herb. There you go. Smoke some of that devil's lettuce and make you feel fine. The devil's lettuce. Okay, what do I use this for? I don't remember. I don't remember the death mask being in the original. Remember, some things have been changed. I do not recall what everything does in this game. Yeah, that Queenie Beeb sub, I did some. <laughs> gift subs. That, I've gotten gift subs before and not realized it until like the next day when I look at my notes. I was like, oh, I got a gift sub in so-and-so's channel. <laughs> Do I bring the grenade launcher back? I don't remember, dude. I really don't. Like, you're, I, I feel like I killed the snake in the original. And I have not played the remake through, so I really don't know. Uh. 
I mean, you got all those rooms up there that you're not done with. Meow. I like how semi-professional the stream looks now. <laughs> I say semi-professional because it could look way, way better. It just doesn't. Okay, if I can't go into that door, I guess I'll go... I like my kitties and the emotes. That's fair. You're allowed to like cats and emotes. I'm going to set that one up for tomorrow. Let's... No, I don't want a slideshow. I just want an image. Give me an image. Give me an image. Some Resident Evil image. There we go. It's a little over large, but. Hmm. Okay, locked from the other side, so I can't get into these two doors. I guess I'll go try to get into that door. Whoop! Okay. Too far down the track. <laughs> there we go. Now I got box art in there. And the stream pay stream display looks very professional though. You did a good job. So you're based on my two cats. Yeah, I've only, I, Joey's played way more of this at this point than I have. I played for about an hour one day. And thank you, Monkey, for the stream. So you you built emotes based on your cats, for? What do you got? It looks like a Maine Coon and something else. <laughs> I don't know about cats. All I know is my buddy, uh, Marty, I stayed at his house a couple times, and he had two cats, and they were Maine Coons. And they are both bigger than our small dog. Did that door just open when you went past it? I don't want to talk about it. It absolutely did, didn't it? I'm avoiding it. That door opened on its own. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to. They're both Maine Coons. Yeah, that explains the... Uh... Yeah, he had two of them, and they were both massive, massive cats. And super friendly, but... Oh, I already checked this room. Like, I remember I was going to the bathroom yeah. in, like, the middle of the night, and they're both, they were both sitting on the floor outside his master bedroom door, which was shut. And they both, like, at the same time looked up at me like a couple of sphinxes guarding the pharaoh's tomb or something. I was like, Jesus, that's unsettled. <laughs> I don't... Hmm. It sounded like bees. It's probably right here now. Oh, no. It's, you're not even in the right hallway. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, that window's open. <laughs> I'm on the second floor. Yeah, that doesn't mean shit. <laughs> You're just having a seizure, indeed. Sleeps on your head. We don't, we don't allow the dogs on beds. Um, our small dog gets in Joey's bed with him occasionally. And he'll jump up into my younger son's bed, but they don't get on my bed because they've both. Chip there he is! <laughs> <laughs> he freaked out and jumped into the map. Go away, go away, go away. Oh, he hit the ground. I heard him. Run over, run over, run over. Is he dead? I don't know. Nope, getting up. I was, okay, this is good yeah, I say this is a great spot to get him. Come here. There he, I was like, where is he? Yeah! Headshot! Headshot! 
Ha, 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 you can't get up from that. <laughs> I don't have to burn it. A cat hat. Okay. Anyway, what I was saying was our small dog will get on the back of the couch because he's like a cat and he'll just sit there behind your head. And then I lean into him and he gets mad. All right. You hear him breathing heavy like, hey, you're pushing on me. Try and figure that room out there out. This one? Yeah, why not? So Joe is the expert of knowing when a zombie's down. <laughs> so, alright. So the statues move. We got an axe, a sword, a shield. Walk forward a little so we can see them. Shield, axe, sword. What's that one in the back right? Oh. I say walk forward that way some more there. Oh, and then you can't see him. What the hell? I can't tell what he is. Anyway, go Wait, ahead and go. I have an idea. What? Oh, zoom in on the picture. How do I look at the Album pictures? Album in the middle one. There you go. A halberd? Or? Uh, he's holding like something down here isn't he no those are his greaves oh i'm pretty sure it's just a halberd oh yeah yeah you're right i bet so okay so you got halberd shield sword and axe right yeah now go look walk up to that wall and look at the four pictures you can walk closer to it you can see it i bet there's an order i bet you have to like push the knights in an order Yeah. There's something in this depression, but you can't get it. Boy, that's hard to see, isn't it? Shield. <laughs> we'll do, that is, do this again. That is hard to see. That's definitely shield. Yeah, shield. That looks like axe, sword, halberd. Shield, axe, sword, halberd. Uh, oh, wait, you know what? Go back in real quick. Go back in. Go back in. Look at the borders, too. Red, black, red, black. I don't know if that means anything, but it might. That's a heart. That looks like clubs. Spade. Or no, that's spade. Diamond, spade. Oh, it is. It's card suits. Oh. The Sleeping Knight. Is one of the knights on a suit of cards sleeping, guys? Like, you know, there's the Suicide King. Is there a knight that's asleep? No. Are you sure? I mean, the closest thing would be the Jack, but I don't think he's asleep. Nope, guess not. I don't know. All right, well. I don't know. Go push the switch and find out what happens, I guess. Okay. Have you saved? After that fight? Yeah. No. All right. <laughs> I guess push the switch. See what happens. We'll find out. You can always pause it after uh, you press it and we can talk about it. Poison gas. I was right. Same thing. Can I turn it off? I can't turn it off. I'm trying to leave. So it is still a poison gas trap. Apparently it injured you. Do you think it's still going? I don't know. Go in. I bet it resets. Because it's going to expect you to come in here and solve this at some point. So, yeah, hey, reset. All right, All right so, so it's shield first. Yeah, I'll say, see if you can't push the statues back. It was shield, halberd, sword, axe, right? Sure. No, shield, axe, sword, halberd. Shield. Right. Axe. Well, I don't think you have to sword. talk to them. I think you have to push the damn things. Halberd, I don't remember how to push. Just push into it. That's it. Oh, no, a little more. Oh. Uh -huh. That's not the right order. 
I'm gonna push another one. See what happens. So what was the right order? Hold on. I was thinking because I, they each do different things. Like when you push in the axe, it yeah, pushes it out pushes those two. Those push in two. the shield, it pushes in the other I one. Know. Flip the switchy, I guess. Worst thing that happens, you run out the room again. No, you got it. Nicely done. I don't know what you got. A mysterious, mysterious box. box. Well, okay, then. A jewelry box with a blood drop on it. Open it up. Go in your inventory. Examine it. Hit A. Check it. There's a switch. Oh, God. Did you push it? Nothing happened. Well, that's uneventful. Man. I remember the first game there was some real bull things. Oh, you need parts to it, it looks like. Like, if you look at the top of it. Well, it's like, that's half of the diamond, that's another half. That's half of the heart, that's another half. It's got both parts of the diamond and it's the other half of the heart. Yeah. So you need two pieces of diamond and then a piece of heart, which is interesting. Well, it looks like I have both pieces of diamond. No, they're blacked out. No, but why is that one glowing then? Because I think it's got something in it. Look. The others look like depressions. Look at that. Well, I think that's just colored in. Look, you obviously need pieces. You don't have the pieces that you need. Whether... Oh. Now you do. Well, just point the other sides of the box. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, I guess we'll try this. Okay. Then this one. Okay. That's both of those. Uh -huh. I guess this. Don't fail? Nah, it yeah, failed. It's failed. All right. So this one first. <laughs> then this one. Then the one on the back. Then this one. Yeah. No. So it's not, it's not this. So do the hearts first, I guess? Hell, I don't know. <laughs> it's obviously just figuring out your order of operation here. Another death mask. Hmm. Disturbing. Kind of, yeah. They mean nothing unusual. There's two red dots hanging off of it. Mask has zits. That's unusual. I just have to make sure I don't put it on. I'll turn into a vampire. That'd be awesome. Personally, I think. Yeah, you've got two death masks. Okay. Try combining them. I did. That was a fair attempt. Where did these go? Did they go... So, remember real early in the game you found, like, that catacomb underground? <sighs> yes. Did it have statues in there? I think it did. It was in the middle staircase through that blue door in the very, very middle. You went outside to like a backyard. And you went down through a cemetery, remember? That red room there. Yeah. And there was some weird thing hanging off the ceiling with chains. And we were like, well, that's unsettling. But I feel like there might have been statues down there that you could put masks on. I guess I can turn off the game title. Yeah. Actually, we'll change it for tomorrow. We'll do a little work for tomorrow tonight. How about that? 
commander. Stupid missions. Sha -na -na. Oh, not what I was looking for. Where's my mouse? Ah, yes, the creepy outdoor area. Yeah, see, the creepy outdoor area. That one. There's a glowing bit. What did it say? Can't get Locked in. Locked from the other side. That just looks like an ink ribbon, though. Where'd I go? I came from there. There you go, this way? That way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's down? it. Yeah, that's oh. the stairs. What a, what a creepy angle right here. Yeah, it's just asking for something to attack you, isn't it? I mean, they did a good job creating suspense. Why are you seizuring against the wall? Because I don't walk any faster or slower by doing this. Yeah, see? Faces. I was right. You're right. I remembered faces. It's down with the nose hole. Yeah, so I bet the others... There's the hole where the mouth should be. Well, that's... One of them, yeah. This one. Yeah. What do you mean? No, it didn't say it doesn't go here. It says it's not necessary to use this now. So that means we're on the right track anyway. Okay. Which is... Not the other one that you have? No, I'm pretty sure it is. Is it? No, not combine. Examine. Let's go. Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. Cool. All right, we'll see if you can use that one. I, I probably not. Oh, yeah, let you use that one. Uh, yeah, see, that's that's why I felt uneasy about that. I mean, why would it not let you use the other one? Then? Maybe I just I can use it now. No. Why? Probably because that's the last one. It's designed to kill you. I have mouth. Oh, the one you have is just be. missing the mouth, right? Yeah. Where well, the mouth should be. Oh, no, 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 it's, 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 got, it's all three. It's, yeah, it's the full empty Which one. Which is this one, right? No, the first one. I don't know that one, yeah. Alright, yeah, slap that bad boy on there. Yep. Nice. There's blood pouring out of it. That is promising. <laughs> I mean, you clearly have to get it off the ceiling before you fight whatever's in it. I'm certain that it's a boss fight, too. I mean, just look at the room you're in. That's clearly boss fight room. Yeah. You have to find the other masks, though. Still, at least that's two things you don't have taken up inventory slots. Ah, good old slow Resident Evil. <laughs> I will say they did an amazing job on it, though. It does look... I mean, if you've played the original Resident Evil, which I have in the other room, you should try and play that one for a few a, minutes. a deal on a bunch it's of Resident awful. Evil games. Maybe you're embalming interested a few, it's spewing out of the corpse. I doubt it's embalming, because I'm pretty sure it's just a coffin full of blood. The question is, what's in said coffin? You know, I've played Resident Evil 1. I've played Resident Evil 2 and 3. And I'm pretty sure that's where I stopped playing Resident Evil. <laughs> And then I've played Remake for like an hour, and that's it. Because I think Resident Evil 2 is just Resident Evil. Resident Evil 3 was the one with Nemesis, which was a big dude with a rocket launcher that chased you around. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where I stopped. Have you tried Eternal Darkness? No, what is Eternal Darkness? I'm always open to suggestions for GameCube games. <laughs> is it a survival horror game? Because I know they... Resident Evil 4, I think, was on GameCube. Is, is that Resident Evil 4? Resident Evil. Bum, bum, bum. I want to play Outlast 2. I just thought about that. I've, I've played Outlast 1. I have it. Okay. And I've heard really mixed things about Outlast 2, but... Mixed things? Yeah. Outlast 1 is my favorite horror game. Fair enough. Uh, this is 
not the right way. I don't know where you're going. You're on your own now. Eternal darkness. What is eternal darkness? I'm just going to look it up. Eternal darkness. Uh, eternal darkness. Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, Psychological Horror Action Adventure, developed by Silicon Knights. Yeah, I've never even heard of it. That is an interesting screenshot, though. No. Oh, it's a red. Go away, go away, go They're faster and stronger. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Hey, hey, buddy. I don't like you. Can you stop? Oh, oh, he's he's going for blood. Don't you have a bigger gun? No, not on me. <laughs> go away, go away, go away, go away. I think. Oh, what a bad. Yeah, I was like, I'm I'm pretty sure those dudes come back to life too until you burn their bodies. <sighs> What do you mean? God! Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hide under the table, Freya says. No! Why? Oh, you're lucky he keeps missing, though. I'm out of bullets. <laughs> oh, you're dead. Oh, no! I no! had a dagger. You hadn't saved in forever. I had a... Oh! <laughs> oh! I had a dagger. Oh, that sucks. I had so many self-defense. Why oh, didn't it use Because he got you from behind. You had to turn around. Oh, big womp womp. Oh, man. Now you have to go back and kill the snake and do the night puzzle again. Ah, oh, that shit's painful. <laughs> oh, no. So nose indeed. Oh, maybe I can avoid. Uh, oh. That's getting bit by the snake sucks. this time. No. I think it just does that regardless. Because I don't think you really got bit by the snake last time. Yeah, that blows. Nothing like dying. Anyway, what were we looking at? Eternal Darkness. Yeah, I don't know. It looks interesting. I don't know. It looks like something I'm going to chase out, though. Like, I don't really care about horror games in particular. Just the original Resident Evil. And that's only nostalgic, really. Like... Because I remember playing. Like, it, it made an impression on my, like, 14-year-old mind when it came out. And I was like, this is amazing. Actually, I might not even be 14. When did the original Resident Evil come out? Resident Evil? Yeah, 96. I was 14. That's what I thought. What was Resident Evil 2? I don't remember Resident Evil 2 at all. Can I shoot my It was my just friend? Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 3 was Nemesis. I don't know. I mean, last time he did a huge favor for you. He pretty much is the thing that killed the snake. No, 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 no. Not that friend. The other dude. The dude who oh, turns into a zombie. Oh, the dude on the and turns into... I don't know. I don't know if he turned into a zombie. He might have been the guy that came in and helped you kill the snake. For all I know. I mean, I, I really don't have a clue. The sanity mechanic is... Oh, God, it's a Cthulhu thing, huh? You lose your sanity. I don't know that I like that at all. <laughs> you said you used to play D&D, &D, right? Did you ever play Call of Cthulhu? That's an awful game. <laughs> it punishes the hell out of you. She's like, oh, you saw something weird, and then now your guy is crazy, and you've picked up a, a mental handicap, essentially. A snake, come out to play. He gonna get you. He gonna get you. Now just run straight back to your buddy, cause he's gonna start shooting if you're back there too. Blonde female character turns like a terrible Payback time. Yeah, it is the wounded dude that's helping you.
Yeah, this is where he eats my friend, yeah. right? Yeah, I don't think you get a choice. I think he eats your buddy. And then it runs off into the ceiling. Thanks. Yeah, there it is. Chomp. Jumpers. Oh, you did really good that time, though. But again, see, it didn't bite you at all. I'm thinking you're still... I think that's just... It's a, you know, a forced thing that occurs. Oh, uh, well, that time it bit you. This right is it running off. Yep. Get, out of my way. Get out of my way so I can grab the death mask and run. Yeah. Okay, so I can grab the thing and run. Hey, com yeah, so combine your ammo and pick up the shotgun on your way. Arkham Asylum. Cthulhu are based. Arkham Horror. Rather than... Rather. Not the bad yeah. Yes. Arkham Horror. Um, God, is that the one... There's, there's a couple of them. Is Arkham Horror the one I'm thinking of? Yes, it is. Yeah, I actually don't care for Arkham Horror just because there's so much crap to set up. Um, like, the game's fine, but... It's just a lot of setup time, which then entails a lot of people not willing to play it. <laughs> like, I have a lot of board games, and I don't play those nearly as much as I want. And, uh, yeah, the games that require massive setup are the ones that get played the least, unfortunately. Oh, uh, Josh wants to play Star Trek. Uh, Gabe has oh, the new expansion that we don't have. The Andorian? I don't remember. Or the Vulcan? I think he has both, actually. Mm -hmm. They finally bought a copy. Yeah. <laughs> One of Joey's friends came over, uh, I don't know, a, a good while ago. Pull out that shotgun and blast that fucking thing. Or not. <laughs> I'm poisoned. <laughs> uh, anyway, one of Joey's friends came over and we played a game called Star Trek Ascendancy, which is like Risk, but it's Star Trek. Uh, and it's got a board that you like explore and build as you go. You want to some... Sorry. I had the greatest victory in it. <laughs> We've played it a couple times, but... Was it the first time we played it? Yeah. Uh, when you snuck the victory from us? Oh. Uh, or like, was it when you took over Josh's home world? It was Josh's... I had taken your home world over anyway, and Josh was like, you can't stop me. I'm all upgraded. Blah, 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 blah. And the Klingons had a, a power that... Or a research that they could develop... Where they could literally just kamikaze into you. And so I just sat there and built up a bunch of ships. And then I flew straight to Josh's home world. And was just like, okay, uh, you have 11 ships and I have like 19. So I smash all your ships apart. <laughs> and then I took over his plant. And he's like, well, that was bullshit. <laughs> and it was amazing. Anyway, you know how I don't like Abby, right? I don't want to say that. On she doesn't watch this. I mean, still, it seems Plus, I don't rude. care if she knows. She knows already. Oh, my God. Okay, she, whatever. She also openly lies about things. We were talking about bringing Catan. Anyway, uh, so, yeah. And it's a game, at most, takes like an hour, right? Mm, Probably less. It depends less. on who you're playing with. <laughs> I've seen games of Catan take a while. She was obsessed with the fact that she didn't like it because she had a game of it that took six hours. Which I do not believe at all. Uh, I mean, I have played some very long games of Catan with your uncles. But usually those are the ones that include, like, seafarers and expansions and six players. Like, I can see a game of Catan taking a really long time. Especially if you're screwing around while you're doing it. Like, drinking or eating food. Like, if you sit down and just play the game, hour, hour and a half tops. Where did we go? Once we you start adding in other crap, though, it, it does take a while. Sorry. Catan can take a while. Six hours is pushing it. Yeah, as I'm saying for sure. Um, I think, I think I've think i only played three board games that have taken six hours. Yeah. Ever. And Catan has never been one. Star Trek or Science, you can push it. Star Trek can push it. The train game manages it. Uh, but it's so good, though. It is a very good game. Uh, Railroad Tycoon, which has been rebranded now to Railways of the World, is 
uh, economic engine railroad building game. And it is not a game I ever would have played and been like, this looks like a game I will enjoy. It turns out it's a game I actually really quite enjoy. <laughs> Uh, it's quite good and it's one of those and also the board is enormous like that that board is like four foot by three foot huge and it's just fun to see all set up um what's a couple other favorites i've always liked carcassonne carcassonne uh, um formula day is a really good racing is game. that the die one the yeah the you're the formula formula one racing but you use dies to represent the gears and you have to like maneuver your way around the tra- i really enjoy formula day um God, what's some other ones? One of my oh. favorites is Evolution. Evolution's good. I really, really, really like Galaxy Trucker. Galaxy Trucker is really good. Galaxy Trucker. You don't have the space for that? Yeah, well, most people don't. <laughs> I mean, it's a we big We played game. on the floor, so. Yeah. We, well, no. We played, we played it, it on the floor with Danny. Did we? Yeah. I don't think we did. I'm pretty sure we did. I don't think you had that table yet, mm-hmm. and so we did. Because you have, have a, the old dining table. That's possible. I have a board game table in the other room hey, that's got a recessed bucko. area. And you can take the tops off of Coming it in. and put your board Coming game around. in there. And then when it's time, you need the tail, you put the tops back Coming on. Coming around, uh, buddy. Hey. It's taking a sweet, sweet time, ain't he? Bucko. There you go. Hey. You got stuck. <laughs> oh, God. Um, Galaxy Trucker, if you've never heard of that monkey. And it's a game I highly recommend because it's super fun. Uh, bless you it is a a speed tile thing i like candy nothing wrong with candy land freya um especially oh god what is it um there's a version of candy land where what do you mean what why you're standing in fire move me it won't let me out (laughs) cheap hits um there's a version of Candyland, and i can't remember what the hell it's called where you are all gingerbread men racing around but you're also like mech gingerbread men and so you're like shooting each other knocking each other's arms off i don't know it's funny anyway galaxy trucker it's a it, you get an outline of a grid outline of a spaceship and then there's like a bunch of part tiles in the middle of the board and you flip a timer and everybody like races to build their ship. And then once everybody's done building their ship, you fly it uh, across a, a board basically and flip cards to like see these different things that happen. And then you watch everybody's ships fall apart. It's stupid and it's silly and it's a lot of fun. Uh, and I highly recommend if you ever get a chance to play it. I don't know, I don't know where all you guys live, but uh, I live in central Illinois. And there's a board game convention in St. Louis called Geekway to the West. And my wife and I go every year. It got canceled last year, obviously. And then they're actually doing it in October this year. So we're going to go to that. And then they're going back to their normal time, which is May of next year. And they basically just, uh, you go and they have a giant library full of all these Euro games that you can just check out and play. Uh, And then they... They always get sponsorships from all these board game makers, and they send those. And every time you play it, you throw your name in the hat, and then at the end of the convention, they give the game away to someone who played it. So, yeah. Oh, one of my other favorites is Werewolf Always. Yeah, you always loved Werewolf. I'm okay with Werewolf. Look, to be fair, I beat a 78 person game of Werewolf. So. Yeah, so, that's a reason to be proud of it. Yeah, I'm not arguing. I got the Lux Edition for free because of that. <laughs> I was the best cult master. The cult master. <laughs> you know put the masks on the thing again yeah and then i'm gonna go back to a save room and save yeah that's fair I'm gonna go bedtime all right matt well thanks for hanging out this evening thanks for for watching with us and, and just being here yeah we appreciate it have a nice evening get some good sleep i'll be back on tomorrow night playing wing commander sans joey he's leaving tomorrow and when are you coming back next weekend uh, I'm coming back on Friday. So, yeah, you'll be back next Saturday. But uh, So, Sunday and Wednesday will just be me. Sunday I'm playing Wing Commander Secret Missions. And Wednesday I'm going to play Utopia Creation of a Nation. So Joey continues to avoid certain games. <laughs> that was the wrong statue. 
wasn't it? Yeah. That's that was the, the other one. The yeah. <laughs> You're not aimed at it correctly. Ain't that a pain in the ass? It was that one, wasn't it? There. Yeah. There. It yeah. Just took it a minute. I like the blood splatters like on the TV. Also, the reference I made to the stone mask uh, giving you vampire powers was a uh, JoJo reference. I don't know. I've not seen JoJo, but I know you like it, and a lot of other people do too. But I've never seen it. It's so. weird. Fair enough. You go from killing vampires with your breath to fighting people's ghosts with your ghosts. Okay. And then fighting vampires' ghosts with your ghosts. It's strange. It sounds it. <clears throat> I don't think it's a good show, actually. I don't think it's a good show. Well, that's not super promising. Uh, I want to go up. Or just down the road. Now I want to go up. I mean, I don't care where you go. Head towards the same box. I feel, again, I haven't played this one, but I feel like we should be way further in this game. <laughs> I mean, I did spend half a year not playing it, basically. That's very true. Nah, not half a year, just four months. I really hope at some point your brother comes around and wants to start playing this <laughs> old game. I doubt it. I know. That's all right. Be a nice house if it was fixed up. Way too big. It's called a mansion for a reason. I mean, yes, I understand that, but I'm also someone who likes smaller spaces. Me. Like, I'd be fine with a studio apartment, I think. <laughs> So you think. All right. Well, while you get that together and save, I'll see if I got anybody on Twitch to raid here. Who do we know? <laughs> what we got? Where's the typewriter? Yeah. You can save your progress. Yeah, so I'd like to use the ink ribbon. Thank you. Okay, well. We'll raid Rita. Playing some Super Mario Brothers 3. Respect the classics. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Are they even playing? Or are they just getting started? They're sitting at their waiting screen, much like we do. Oh, they've been streaming for three minutes, so my guess is they're just about to start. So, we're going to raid Redow. They're going to play some Super Mario Brothers 3. Um, thanks, everybody, for hanging out tonight. Shankus, Freya, Matt, uh, Davey, Wiz, Wizard, uh, Fergie, I know, was in here a while ago. So, a lot of people in tonight. Uh, anybody is in there lurking and just didn't talk to us, cool. But thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Uh, so, have a good night. I'll be back on tomorrow night um, with, I'll be because Joey's not going to be here, I'll be running at 8 o'clock. Uh, and I'll be playing Wing Commander Secret Missions, which is the game, by the way, that the eject was the start and select button. So that's going to screw me at some point without question. But we'll see you guys later. I'm going to hit the raid button and we're just going to uh, we're going to move to that. See you guys. Bye, guys. I'll buy in, like in three, three seconds. seconds when I can actually raid. <laughs> All right. Off we go.